Sadly, there are many more Christians imprisoned in Iran today. As the church rejoices over Saeed Abedini's release, we can't forget those who still suffer for their faith. And David Yegnazar is executive director of Elam Ministries. That's a group that supports the persecuted church in Iran. He joins us now from London. David, give us an update about how many Christians would you say are in prison now in Iran? Thank you. Yeah, it's uh, good to share with uh, our, our friends on the TV here that there are still 92, at least 92 people who are still in prison for their faith in Iran. Of course, we rejoice at the release of Saeed and uh, Farshid Fatih, who was released in December. But uh, it's really important for us to know that we still have brothers and sisters in Christ who are in prison for their faith in prisons all over Iran. And not Iranian Americans, but our family members, right? They are not Americans. They're Iranians. They love the Lord Jesus Christ. They uh, just want to serve Him. They want to be able to worship Him and um, share their faith with people. But uh, they have been imprisoned because of their faith uh, and their um, commitment to the Lord. And uh, definitely we need to pray for them. Many of them are suffering. Many of them have uh, not been given uh, medical treatment. There's one particular person, uh, Mariam. She's also known as Nassim by some of her friends. She's been in prison since July 2013, and uh, she had a heart condition before prison, but she has not been given the medical treatment that she's needed. Uh, she would need even outside prison. Uh, and so she has suffered greatly. Uh, she was actually given finally almost... Uh, reluctantly, she was given uh, permission to go to a hospital in November, but uh, is back in prison. And um, we really, really need to pray for Mariam. And, and of course, David, over the years, Benami Rani, also a pastor, has suffered in prison. He's had some medical issues. Can you give us an update on him? Well, his situation continues. Um, many, many people are praying. And um, he, he, the suffering continues for him, for his uh, people who know and love him. And it's just really uh, tragic that after so many years, people like Benham, like Mariam, and many others uh, are just uh, held simply because they love uh, the Lord Jesus Christ. And finally, David, what can we do beyond prayer to help these believers who are suffering in Iran? Well, I, uh, beyond prayer, well, I would say that prayer is definitely what they can do. Um, and uh, we, we encourage you to get your churches, not just to pray yourself, but get people that you know, your pastors, your home groups, to really intercede, to know that there are, yes, let's rejoice that Saeed, and we do rejoice that Saeed's out, but there are many other people still in prison, to be aware that it is going on, and at the same time, to know that the church in Iran is growing. Because of the persecution, the church grows. Okay, David Yegnazar, we will be praying. Elam Ministries, thank you for joining us. Thank you very much.